Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Louise in Manchester and today I'm just doing a video about my three lemon trees and I'll talk to you about the, this one first, which is my Ikea lemon, I call it, because I got it from Ikea back in 2016 and it was established plant um, it had lemons on it already but it's over the years it's grown quite a lot so it's about double the size it is now than when I got it and that's a lemon that got um, pollinated last year I think it was so it's taken quite a while for it to mature and it's got lots of little lemons from this year. And it's flowering. So unlike the um, orange, navel orange that I've got, that just flowers in the spring and then it produces uh, fruit. Whereas the lemon, you can have lemons still on the plant whilst it's got uh, flowers and new growth coming on. So you can see more lemons here. And now we're in September. I've got this lovely purple growth. This is what it looks like when it's got new growth coming out. lovely purple colour or deep maroon so that snail damage there I think there was some nitrogen deficiency which have fed the plant now so hopefully the new growth um, will be greener So that's the Ikea lemon, I think it's a Maya lemon, although it doesn't say on the label, um, it looks very much like a Maya. And this, I keep this outside for most of the year, uh, if it's a really bad frost then I'll bring it inside and um, keep it in a cool room because you will get leaf drop if it's too hot um, but it's not it's not really you know uh, frost hardy so you do have to keep it covered if it's at, if it's kept outside so that's the um, IKEA or Maya lemon they are prone to scale insects can't see any on at the moment but there is definitely some during the summer so this is my Pyretto lemon and I got this back in 2018 from Canada um, from this place it's a, a lovely nursery if you're ever in Canada near Toronto, visit this place, Valley View Gardens, lots and lots of tropical plants there. And notice the wing petiole on this uh, Pareto lemon. Now I've had a look on the internet and Pareto lemon is part of the Citrus Medica family, one of the oldest varieties and when I got it, it had two very large lemons attached which um, came off, they were really heavy and when I first saw this uh, lemon plant I actually thought I was looking at a Zara lemon 
because of the huge fruit and it was a little bit knobbly so um, I was very excited to to buy this plant because I've not seen one like that here in the UK and it's grown all this here is new growth and um, this is last year's growth so that's last year's growth so it's grown quite a lot all this that you see is new and that's new growth and down here very late in the year I'll just have a look what that is I think that's I'm not sure what that is a bit of leaf scorch I think down there you can see flower bud um, and for this reason because it's budding so late in the year I'm probably going to bring this inside it has been inside over winter I'm not trusting um, the uh, British weather you know um, with this plant because they say I've not seen one of these in the UK um, and I don't want to risk you know losing it you can leave them outdoors but what happens is the leaves will all fall off and then the following year um, because I've, I've learned from my experience with the IKEA lemon leave it outside the leaves fall off and then You've got to wait for spring and summer for all of that to uh, grow back again before you can get any flowers and fruit so uh, I don't want to risk you know weakening the plant that way and I'm excited to see these flower buds when I um, the, the following year I got this in 2018 and in 2019 it flowered at a similar spot to where you can see these buds now and but unfortunately it was inside at the time and the flowers uh, were in a little cluster um, and I tried to pollinate it with uh, the, the flowers that were on this plant and no other plant was actually flowering at the time so um, I didn't get any fruit I'm hoping with the Maya lemon flowering now, and the, if these flower, you know, uh, at the same time, then maybe I can cross pollinate. You know, let's see what happens. This was a, um, a small, well, when I say small plant. It was a single. It was like a single stem when I got it. Um, there was this main stem here and I had to cut it back because it was like say twice the size that you see it now um, to transport it so all all this at the top is new growth and all that's new growth I think this is the rootstock um, these are suckers but I'm going to keep those, maybe cut them off and put them in, uh, pop them on separately. But the leaves don't look different to the leaves on here because rootstock is usually a different variety. Um, but the leaves on here, you can see they've got like a winged petiole. Um, not, not all of the leaves, but you know, some are a bit more pronounced. Uh, than others if you compare that to the leaves on the mayor there's no winged petiole you know it's just a straight petiole so that's the Pareto Citrus Medica and this little chap here is my Zara lemon and I had four um, 
these were cuttings basically so if, if you have a look at the I'll pop that down there this was a single stem when I got it and at the top where you see this growth there was a little leaf and that was it there was a little leaf and there was just a stick and there were some roots now I had four of these and I think this was probably the one with the best roots so the other three died off uh, sadly but this one actually did I thought it had died last year it produced this growth so I got this in 2018 this is from Bangladesh and Zara Lemon is also a citrus medica type it's a very old variety and grown throughout South Asia I'll see if I can put a picture up of what a Zara Lemon looks like uh, very large knobbly uh, fruit and inside the rind is very thick there's not much of the fruit it's more it's more thick rind than it is uh, actual flesh which is similar to what the um, Pareto was like when I cut that open we cut the two lemons that were on it I cut them open very thick rind very strong perfume but the perfume on this was although it was fantastic uh, did not compare to the perfume from the Zara lemons which um, I bought a Zara lemon and I compared the two and although they look very similar um, in their shape and size the perfume from the Zara lemon if you could ever get hold of a Zara lemon maybe from a Bangladeshi grocers um, here in the UK cut one open you'll see what I mean very very strong perfume so this little chap here, as you see it's a little bit, it's been damaged by snails. It's not outside, outside, it's in a plastic greenhouse and the snails seem to get in there. Um, so this is what you're looking at, snail damage unfortunately. I will be bringing it back inside as the weather gets cooler. Um, so all, all this green, this, this green stem here and the other stem here, that's this year's growth. Um, looks like it could do with a bit of a feed, but the new growth comes out light green anyway and then it turns, it goes darker like that. So I'll wait till these leaves mature a bit before I um, feed it. So overfeeding, overfeeding can kill it. Um, just using a seaweed solution. Um, I also add coffee grinds to my plants, to all of my citrus. And they seem to like the acidic conditions. This one is due a repot. I think if you look on there, you can see roots coming through, but I'm not gonna repot it now. I'm gonna wait till uh, spring because it will be coming back indoors and they won't be do it won't be doing a lot of growing indoors. Uh, so that that's my little lemon trio. Tell me what you think if you're growing citrus here in the UK. How you look after yours if you've got citrus plants. Um, it'd be nice to share. Uh, ideas, tips, if anyone's growing the Pareto lemon, um, please share what tips you've got on how to maintain them and encourage them to flower and fruit. Also if you're growing Zara lemon, uh, whether it's from seed, uh, cuttings, or you've got an established plant that's flowered and fruited, please let me know. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.